Mohamed Bakindo, OPEC Secretary General, dies unexpectedly. Thank you for joining us on Kalkine TV. We have some trending news to share with you. My name is Sage. In a surprising turn of events, OPEC Secretary General Mohamed Bakindo, aged 63, has passed away. His death reportedly occurred late Tuesday night, just hours after he announced that the lack of investment into the oil industry has caused it to be under siege. Having gained the leading position of the Organisation of Petroleum Exporting Countries, since 2016 his death comes just one day after meeting with the President of Nigeria in the capital, Abuja. The cause of his death has not been released. It was also just three weeks before his second term as OPEC Secretary General was about to end. Although his death is being described as a great loss to his immediate family, the NNPC, our country Nigeria, the OPEC and the global energy community, it was said by Mele Kiari, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company's managing director. It was reported by the ABC. There is a low risk that his passing will erupt turbulence in the already volatile petroleum sector that is being exacerbated by the war in Ukraine and supply chain delays due to COVID-19. Mr Bakindo will be remembered for leading OPEC during one of its most turbulent eras and for maintaining some form of stability and unity between its member states through his open source style of leadership which involved keeping lines of communication multilateral. It is expected that his successor will be Haitham al Gais, veteran and previous Kuwaiti governor to OPEC. This oil industry pundit has a similar style of leadership, sharing the parallel outlook in the importance of unity between OPEC member nations. Although taking on the role will see him facing some criticism regarding OPEC's quota for the release of oil, with the US having had to take matters into their own hands recently to meet the demand for oil through coordinated releases from the Strategic Petroleum Reserve. The price of oil tumbled on the back of recession fears from the USA this week, dropping under $100 per barrel. Other factors impacting the oil sector include political turmoil in Libya and Ecuador, causing oil production limitations and maximum capacity limits are being witnessed from the major producers like the Saudis and the UAE, it was reported by Seeking Alpha. There is mixed sentiment between analysts regarding the price of oil in coming months with Goldman Sachs still having expectations that demand and supply shortages will push it higher towards $140 per barrel. Yet Citi sees the recession fears to impact it on the downside of the declines under $70 per barrel predicted iShares Global Energy ETF is up year to date 20.96% however. Thanks for joining us on this report. Keep watching Calkine TV for more expert insights and live expert talks. Sage signing off for now.